Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Well, what a difference, okay? What an amazing difference uh, a day went, okay? Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, yesterday, if you guys remember, market structure completely broke down, okay? Completely broke down, uh, very, very aggressive. You had rate cuts to be sold. You had more cases of Corona just all over the place. And the futures got killed. The futures got killed. It was one of the most um, unreliable days that I could see just because the way things were playing out. Again, big spreads, wider spreads. And yesterday was a day that, um, again, like we discussed last night, I had no business of trading. You know, once I hit on my first couple of trades yesterday, I gave everything back, just everything back because of stupidity, uh, because I wasn't fully focused on what was in front of me. And it was one of those days that I said to myself, well, it really does confirm two things. Um, there's nothing the market can do to you that you can't do to yourself. That's number one. And the second thing, which kind of spilled over in today, is as long as you don't prostitute. And then, you know, again, we use that word a lot because that's exactly what a lot of us do, especially when we first start. A lot of us prostitute our money, okay, in the form of quote unquote taking shots. Yeah, I'll take some here, I'll take some there. You're taking shots, right? It's like taking, uh, it's like throwing a Hail Mary every single time, uh, every single time you get the ball. Does, it doesn't make sense. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't, but it usually doesn't. And the idea that, you know, when you are a professional trader or an aspiring professional trader, it, again, control is everything. We, we talk about this control thing for very, you know, for a very long time, many, many years. And yesterday I felt that the market was out of control, but it was my job to kind of put myself in check and I didn't do so. And it cost me a day. I mean, it really cost me a day. Nothing monetary that's eye-opening, whatever the case may be, but it, it did cost me a day for absolutely no reason. Kind of fast forward, right? So this is how crazy the market is right now. So last night, we had a huge, huge, aggressive close to the downside, right? They, could, they cut rates, they couldn't get the market going, more corona cases all over the place. And again, if you listen to the headlines, they're not, schools are being closed all across, uh, all across Italy. Um, you have cases now popping up sporadically in major metropolitan cities. Again, like I said last night, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, okay? But the, the, the most amazing part, how crazy this market actually is, if, if you would have told me that close yesterday, if I had to gun to my head, pick a position overnight and take that side, I would have went home short last night. Because again, everything tells you on the surface, things are going to go lower. But again, this is why the stock market and trading and everything in between is the greatest reality show that's not on television. There's, there's nothing that has to happen. Remember that. Our opinions are just areas of concentration that we're just collecting data. I, I talk about this collection of data a lot. It's not just a, use, a word I use. I use it because I formulate an opinion for the next day. So everything we talked about yesterday, literally every stock I had on my watch list uh, for today was a short, every single one. We talked about the themes, right? Again, we talked about the themes. Again, casinos, hotels, restaurants, airlines, right? All these things, right? All these things. Who the hell is going to book a, a cruise right now to Italy? Hey, honey, surprise. I just booked us a cruise to, to Italy. Said no one ever, right? At least not today. At least not anytime soon. So everything, my thought process, my opinion, everything I had was on the short side today. And obviously, the market gaps of 500 points. But the one thing that I've learned many, many years ago, okay, you don't just throw your thesis. And also, obviously, I liked Tesla as well. We talked about Tesla short as well yesterday. So I had my opinion coming in today. Now we just want to see how the futures were going to cooperate. And lo and behold, da da da, da obviously, we gap up 500 points on get, you know, of, all, of all things, Joe Biden won something, something, blah, 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 nobody cares. At least I don't. Again, I don't get into politics. At least I don't online. And when I do, I got to shoot myself in the head, but it's never going to end well. 
So I don't. I'm trying not to, right? Try not to. So the market, quote unquote, is up because of Joe Biden winning blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Just the same way any politician for any party wins blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Um, so the market's up. So I, I said to myself, I said, look, we, we, we have to let this play we have to let this market play out, right? Again, nothing's going to happen here at the open. Um, I doubt very much that, again, all these names that we're watching that had potential breakdown technically uh, will be bought on the open. I just can't imagine. The one thing, the first thing I said, all these plays, airlines, casinos, restaurants, um, uh, hotels, restaurants, airlines, all these things. I felt that I felt that anybody who bought these things at the open was going to lose money. That's the first thing I said uh, at Morning Strategy. And again, this is why you have to think, you have to do research, you have to do homework, you have to have an opinion and wait for that to confirm. So I didn't go out and buy the open. I waited for these things to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And the game plan played out perfectly. And today was definitely one of the most aggressive days, right? Most aggressive days we we've seen. Uh, the game plan was perfect. Airlines, right? Airlines, casinos, cruise ships, everything, everything. Starbucks, this, that, the other thing. We talked about it this morning. That was our game plan. We wanted to sell them, and we did. And we did this perfectly. And again, this is where you know I, I, I tweeted out this morning. I go, naturally, we get a 500-point gap up. Initial value is to the short side this morning. Uh, I have my sh list of all shorts coming today. I want them to get every opportunity to work. And they just started going one by one, guys, literally one by one. Um, Everything, just one by one. Uh, Las Vegas Sands, green to red, smashed. Wind, smashed. RCL, smashed. Uh, this BYND never got there. Uh, Dallas, I said, hey, needs momentum to flush below 46. But there was also a sneaky pivot, right? I'll show you in a second as we get there. Uh, Jet Blue, green to red, smashed. Uh, Love, green to red, smashed. Didn't, it, it, a lot of them didn't take out the previous day's low, but they gave pretty great aggressive trades. Again, any restaurant, any cruise ship, any airline, any travel site, hotel, etc. Watch them go green to red. Okay, these are great value plays because again, keep this in mind, they're not pivots, but they're momentum plays. So if you liked them as a short yesterday, you're sure as hell gonna like them as a short today if the market is up 500 points and they can't rally. And they just started getting hit one by one. You know, Expedia, green to red on watch. This is not a pivot. Just remember, again, needed to confirm the 93. Although it didn't confirm the 93, it gave almost a $2 move, green to red. Starbucks gave an 80 cent push, uh, green to red. Uh, Roku, this was, a, this was a good one for me. Uh, I took Roku green, uh, green to red short. Um, and this is a great, I mean, I love tech, trading technology beta. So green to red short, no, this is not a pivot, just momentum. It needed to build 105, uh, 105.50. The problem is it went green to red, like 108 and change, right? 108 and change went green to red. It put in the low around that 108 and teens, rallied back. I started shorting it on that one, uh, 108 level. And I knew that 105.50 area was going to be important, so it, it kind of held that area, and I covered my short, but it was great. It was, I mean, it was a beautiful trade. It didn't participate, right? It didn't participate. It just got destroyed, right? Green to red just got destroyed. Look at this candle. Green to red destroyed, never took out the 105.50. I still like it for the future on that level, but that was a beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Uh, Dallas, again, here's my, sneak, here's my sneaky area, right? Dallas. Uh, sneaky area if it builds below can flush 47 and again although it didn't take out 46 or at least I don't remember taking it at 46 again look at the flush right look at the flush went right down to the 46 area it still gave a dollar on the trade it's a beautiful move again it's an airline it's not like you're making a dollar in the video this is these are airlines they don't trade because you know they don't trade like beta you know the, the, the fact you're getting a dollar move on these things are pretty good uh, Roku again was great um, take on the way down uh, Expedia destroyed, take on the way down. Tesla was the was definitely the move. Okay, Tesla was definitely the move today. Uh, again, it didn't participate. It gapped up, didn't participate. Started putting in lower highs. I said, watch this green to red trade. Note, this is not a pivot, just momentum. Again, with with with, with Tesla, it's very very important. However, this is supposed to be obviously a seven thirty seven, not four thirty seven. It if it starts building, right? If it starts building under seven thirty seven. It could get aggression down experienced traders only. Obviously, I, I think I have to say that every day for experienced traders only, just because, again, a lot of new traders get FOMO and they, they, they can't stand the emotional swings behind the stock, but it's very, very important to understand what you can trade, what you shouldn't trade, and what you could trade based on your experience level. Destroy it, right? Destroy it. I said there's a shot, um, I said there's a shot uh, that Tesla could get down to 
725, 726, hold on, Expedia flush, RCL, RCL got killed. RCL got killed, it was down two, even took out the natural pivot, 7670, got murdered. Um, yeah, so, so here it is, so here it is. So it got down to this 737 level and it held perfectly. So you see how important this level is? It needs to get under. And slowly but surely, it started making way down. Starbucks new lows, uh, solid value today, just babysitting runners, blah, 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 blah. NVIDIA was good. I took this NVIDIA trade. It was really good as well. Uh, NVIDIA, 7390, 74 needs to build. I mean, they, they, this, was, these are, this was a really high value day, right? So here was the 73, right? 7390, 74. And the damn thing went to 76 and change and then came back in. Remounted that 76.20, went to 84. I mean, just huge. Just an absolutely huge move. 1,100 point in the Dow. Things will get exaggerated. Uh, so NVIDIA was really, really good as well. Uh, take sales. Obviously, take sales. Uh, well, this is turning out to be a pretty darn good morning. Check, check, check. What a difference in the, you know, in the day. Market structure, my goodness. That's true. So here is where we kind of... So here is kind of where we talked about why technical analysis matters. So it stopped... At 7:37, I keep on putting 4:37. I apologize, that's my dyslexia kicking in. Uh, it kept, Tesla kept on. I go 7:37, still not val still valid, not 4:37. So here was the uh, here was a monster move. I mean, really, really monster move. So here was the here's a 60 minute view on Tesla, right? So here's a 60 minute minute view, and if you notice here, right? If you notice here, it kept on stopping right over here, right? Right over here it was 7:36, 7:37. I knew it had to get under, okay? I knew it had to get under, and once it got under the second time, it was dead. Uh, I said it was gonna get down to, uh, I said it was gonna get down to, what was my number I was looking at? Uh, forget about this VIR, I never got up there. Um, I said it was gonna get up to, yeah, and the wind got killed, then there was a fraud piece on JKS, went down 80 cents. I usually don't put these, uh, put these, but I, I had to. I think this was a, it was a pretty good play. Uh, so for all you guys who took the trade, went down almost about a dollar. Uh, so yeah, so here's the deal. So 737, take on the way down. And the most important part is, if you look at my regular Twitter account, I turned around and I said, it could get down to 726, 727, and went right down to 724, 73. So really, really uh, aggressive move. And, and again, the macro part is, what I, what I like, what I'm seeing now, is that, not that we're negating, okay? I'm not saying we're negating, uh, we're, not, we're, not, we're not negating the, the, the coronavirus headlines. I'm not saying that. What I do like, what I'm seeing is the market, and again, you can use the Joe Biden wins, blah, 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 nobody cares, as an excuse that we rallied. But more important is the fact that we engulfed, or almost engulfed, yesterday's sell-off, right? Or actually, we did. Engulfed yesterday's sell-off. Now we're, we're kind of in striking distance to do two things, and this is very, very important, okay? If the Qs can get above 20 and a quarter, right, and reclaim the 50-day moving average, we have a move all the way to 25. Now, what does that do? Obviously, technically, the bulls reclaim, right, momentum or sentiment. And the second thing is slowly but surely, as we do with everything that's bad in the world, Traders start getting slowly but surely numb to this, okay? This is super important to understand. The longer the market sustains the ability of not go down on the same repetitive news, the higher probability we go numb to that news very, very quickly, sooner or later, and then the market starts reclaiming levels technically, which will be super duper bullish. Again, we don't want to put the cart in front of the horse at any time. We can start going back down to 500 points, 1,000 points. But again, at least we know clean levels where the market needs to reclaim. So these are the levels right here. Again, there is no room for interpretation, okay? Once the Qs reclaim uh, 220, 30, I think there's a shot at 225. And if we reclaim 225, we go back to all-time highs. Again, let's not put the cart in front of the horse, but at least we have to know sustainable levels where the bulls have to reclaim, have to build, and keep on going forward. So tomorrow, you know, again, like I said, we got to take it one day at a time. Again, gun to my head, I say we go higher tomorrow. But again, is, this, is it going to surprise me if we go down 1,000 points tomorrow? No. Again, I'm, I'm flat. You know, I'm flat. I'm going to trade the channels. I'm going to trade the ranges. Again, I had an opinion last night. Right, I had an opinion last night. Uh, casinos, restaurants, blah 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 blah, and it played out perfectly. 
Well, now I have an opinion to the long side. We'll see if it plays out. If it doesn't play out, I could very, very quickly shift gears, go back to the downside and start uh, uh, start playing to the downward channel. So going into tomorrow, uh, again, it, it's pretty basic. Uh, you don't have to, in my opinion, you don't have to be very, very creative. I'm looking at beta all to confirm today's price action. Uh, the only names uh, that I do like that are non-beta uh, that I would like to share with you guys, uh, KPTI. Uh, looks pretty good, right? It had a big gap up going sideways. The longer it goes sideways, the better. If KPTI can reclaim 27.50, right? I think there's a shot it goes back to 30, so keep an eye on that. And I like this KRTX. Uh, I like this KARTX as well. You know, I, I think if this thing can start reclaiming, I think if it could start reclaiming like the 94.20 level, okay? I think the first move is gonna be to 96, but any close over 96, I think this thing potentially uh, could wake up. So again, a lot, I get a lot of emails and stuff. Well, can you answer? You know, can you show me more about these pivots and stuff? Again, I, I tweet these pivots in real time. You guys see it. I tweet it in real time. There's nothing. Look, the, the only way to figure out if pivots are right for you. Again, and I said this over and over again. You don't need to trade beta trade pivots. I, I tweeted out real time today. Bounces on small cap stocks. Again, you don't need to chase small cap stocks. The strongest ones that are going back into rising 60 minute support, you can, you, can, you can very, very well take advantage of them. The only way to see if it's right for you, just get into the, you know, get into the live webinar for a month. Again, we have, uh, we have something running for 97 bucks for the whole month, for the whole month to see if the pivots are right for you. Uh, guys, great job today. I mean, nothing more to say. Uh, great job to, today, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Uh, please get to Morning Strategy early. And with God's help, we'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.